Hi everyone and welcome back to Rich Reviews and today you join us at the Dick Levitt Cylinder Club and this Cylinder Club is an event for um, Ferrari and Porsche. They have a Cylinder Club event that started a couple of years ago. Um, last year they only had one Cylinder Club event um, because it wasn't possible to have any more due to the actual situation with Covid and today we've got the Ferrari and we've got the Porsche meet here. So um, on one side you've got Dick Lovett Ferrari as you can see in the background and on the other side you've got Dick Lovett Porsche. So I'm just going to take you for a walk around some of the Ferraris to show you some of the Ferraris that have turned up today and then we'll take a walk over to the Porsche side to see what we've got on the Porsche side as well. Of course as many of you know I used to own a 993S so I used to, I used to actually turn up over the other side. So you probably will notice at the, at the classic car hub we actually noticed this 458 Spider. This is the very highly spec 458 Spider. Um, I actually know the gentleman who owns this car. I believe this is TDF Blue and it's got the Quero interior and as you can see it's got the beautiful Al Alcantara centre sections on the, on the seats, which is a lovely touch. Very, very highly optioned car. A lot of carbon inside. There we have a Speciali just leaving. We'll touch, there's a couple of other Specialis here, so we'll touch on those in a minute. And just to carry on. Um, B post carbon fibre and even has as we mentioned before, the rear diffuser and carbon fibre as well. Here's my uh, 458 Spider. Don't really know to, need to know anything more about my 458. And here we've got a 488. Just speaking with the gentleman who owns this car, it's actually Scotia Blue, which is actually a heritage colour. And if we look inside, this is actually Terra Brucata. Um, so it's actually a dark, dark brown Terra Brucata, or Bruchata. Lovely 48 GTB. If we take a bit of a look inside, we can see we've got the Daytona configuration of seats. Obviously the racing seats, the carbon back racing seats. And the actual Daytona stripes, um, horizontal stripes, are actually in blue, which is a nice touch. Obviously lending in with the actual external Scorsa blue, Scorsaccia blue uh, external colouring. So the 488s are always going to be compared with the 458s. Um, for me personally, it was the 458 all the way because I'm not into turbocharged cars. But this is a beautiful example and very beautifully specified. Here we've got a, a Roma, Ferrari Roma, almost like a polar silver colour on the blue because you get like a silver bluey colour. This actually might be called a specific type of colour of blue, but beautiful specification. I've test driven one of these, very nice cars, not nowhere near the same as a supercar, very much a, a GT car. And here we have another 488 GTB, highly specced, obviously the standard sort of uh, kit for a 488 GTB. But it's actually highly specced, it's got the centre stripes, you've got the tricolour centre stripe down the car. And over the roof. And you've got the carbon fibre fins, which provide cooling. Moving along here, you've got a 458 Italia, Rosso Corsa with a black Nero interior. Again, racing seats, and again here you've got the Alcantara centre sections on the seats. Very similar design, um, very similar seat design to mine, but obviously these, this has got the Alcantara centre sections. Highly specced, carbon fibre inside, um, apart from the actual vents. And you've got the carbon fibre racing zone and you've got a carbon fibre centre console. It hasn't got the upper, car upper carbon fibre configuration option, which mine has, which actually provisions the actual centre parts would be in carbon fibre. So as my centre console is all in carbon fibre. Here you've got the Grigio 20 inch forged alloy wheels, or 20 inch forged wheels. And again, obviously, the display area for the engine. It's actually got carbon fibre on the side panels. Hopefully, you can pick that up on the camera. You can see it's got the side panels in carbon fibre. Um, don't think the actual air box is actually in carbon fibre. Obviously, the plenums are painted in the crinkle red colour, as per standard. No sports exhaust, no carbon fibre rear diffuser. And these side skirts in the Grigio grey colour to match in with the colour of the wheels. So here we have a 430 Scuderia. It's got the centre stripe, the centre white stripe down the middle of the car. Obviously all the 430 Scuderia options, carbon fibre wing mirrors. 
We've actually got the seat harnesses inside, as I've already mentioned. Seat harnesses are a bit of a pain in the backside, a bit of a nightmare to get in and out of. Carbon fibre inside, this is the left hooker as well, so it's a left hand drive. Carbon fibre rear section where the challenge grill used to be on the challenge Stradale. Obviously, carbon fibre coverings in the actual engine compartment as well. So, Plenum Chambers carbon fibre and the actual air filters are carbon fibre. Here we have another 430 Scudder here, would you believe it? So, just inside the garage workshop now for Duke Lovett on the Ferrari side, obviously. And here we have a Rosso Corsa Enzo, Ferrari Enzo. My son loves this car. I love the car as well, but for me, an F50 would trump this. But it's a beautiful car. All the carbon fibre there on the, in effect, racing engine for the plenums. It's a Rosso Corsa with a... Rosso Corsa with actually a, a red interior. Rosso Corsa leather interior. Obviously, carbon fibre on the dash and such like. It's pretty much standard spec on these Enzos. So look at the way how it, the design of it heralds back to the actual F1 cars. Moving along here, we have what would be, I think, my son's favourite car. Jacob's favourite car. Beautiful F40. It's denoted by an interesting characteristic that the F40 only has the labelling on one section of the rear wing. The F40 logo on one section of the rear wing. And that's so it can read the right way. I believe it, so it reads the right way going forwards. These cars were all about going fast forwards, or going forwards fast, as I should say. As you can see, there's no F40 emblem on this side of the rear wing. And this has a, a red interior, like a cloth, a red cloth. I don't think it's Alcantara, it's like a red cloth interior. We actually have a 288 GTO in the garage. You can actually see the under section of the car because it's actually on a lift. Very, very few people actually get to see this on the 288 GTO. Look at that. It's absolutely pristine. A range of Aston Martins here. Must be uh, one of the Dick Lovett owners with a number plate with LOV. Nice spec, black and black. So now we're going to leave the Ferrari area for a while. We're going to take a walk over to the Porsche area and show you some of the Porsches that are here today. So we come down here, you can see we've got some Taycans. Various eclectic mix of Porsches. So here we have a GT3. <laughs> right to open. So you can see here it's actually a manual shift. So it's got actually three pedals that you can see down there in the footwell. So it looks like it's got uh, quite a high spec of Alcantara and leather inside. Beautiful specification, beautiful car. This is actually the owner of the car. Uh, just tell me, tell me your name and some uh, how you actually came about purchasing the car. Uh, so I'm Ryan Ratcliffe. Um, so the car uh, we got it from uh, Swindon. <laughs> Luck luckily, uh, you know they only get two two allocated, and we were very fortunate that um, we were one of those two. Uh, feel sort of really, really privileged to be able to to get one of the first ones in the country. Um, we've had GT3s uh, for a long time now. We got a 997 uh, Gen 2 Club Sport, uh, and that's proper manual and everything. So very much like this. We wanted to stick with the sort of analog feel with this, um, but sort of stick to the the comfort spec as well so that's why we've gone for the standard seats um so sort of mix of alcantara isn't it and yeah, leather, yeah 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 and we didn't want to go for the roll cage um a 
again, it's, it, it makes the car more usable. Uh, and when you actually go somewhere for the weekend or something, you want to take the car. Whereas when you've got the hardcore one with the big bucket seats and the roll cage, it's a bit like, oh God, do I really want to take that one? And yeah, so it's, it's a very, very user friendly car. And again, with, with, with Porsche, you know, you never think that they can make a car better. But they always then, do, they always you manage it somehow. And you drive it and you go, oh my God, they've done it again. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I race in Carrera Cup. Oh, cool. um, so I'm going to be racing the 992 Cup car next year. I'm currently in the 991 Gen 2. Um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what the actual Cup car of the 992 variant is, is going to be like. It looks amazing. So I uh, can't wait to, to try that. And then I can compare the road car and the race car. Fantastic, yeah? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks no a lot for the details. No worries. Cheers. Good luck with the racing. Yeah, thank you very much. Scott, some of the cars are actually going now. Got a GT3 RS there. And here we've got a 993 Turbo. Avid subscribers to the channel, avid viewers of the channel, we know that I used to own a 993 2S. So that's like, this is actually a 993 Turbo in Polar Silver. She's got the turbo wing on the back. I wasn't a great advocate of the turbo wing on my. 993S, so I took the wing off and put the standard rear engine cover on, but on here you can see it's actually imperative because you've got the intercooler that actually fits into the rear wing. So it's polar silver on like a blue interior. I can't remember the actual name, name of the blue, but it's like a navy blue. 996 GT3. The configuration of the mirrors here in this car, the chrome door mirrors, definitely a sweet spot for this car. Here we actually have a 488 Pista, and this is in a triple layer color orange, it's like a fire orange, car fiber just about everywhere. Center stripe in black, the black mirror interior, and the harnesses, I believe. Yeah, harnesses. Orange stitching to, to orange stitching to work very well with the external triple layer cover. Here we have a blue McLaren SLR. Black wheels. Look at the carbon fibre fins there, a centre sort of almost like gills. Carbon fiber door mirrors with indicators on the, on the edge of the door mirrors. Beautiful car. Very, very rare, I would imagine. Interesting number plate, 3333. Three, three, three. This is obviously a left-hand drive. Got Alcantara center section on the actual racing seats. And the obviously blue accents on the dash. And on the centre Alcantara, Al, and, and on the centre Alcantara sections of the seat, carbon fibre centre section all the way down the middle of the car. So as the Shelby kicks off, about to leave, the event's just closing down now here at Dick Lovett Swindon for the Cylinder Club, for the only Cylinder Club of the year. And this is there isn't going to be another Cylinder Club this year, so it's very fortunate that they're in. If you've enjoyed the video then please make sure you click the like button if you're not subscribed then please think about subscribing already and we'll say goodbye from dick lovett and from the cylinder club events for this year there's my car in the background thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video here we have the slr just leaving